Hey, uh, Phil G here. I'm currently out on tour with Chris de Berg um, and I want to talk a little bit about the equipment I'm using on this tour. Um, there's a lot here, obviously, the reason being the tour is quite unique. We, we're playing two albums in its entirety and they're obviously very different. You know, To give you an idea, one is from the 80s and the other one is from 2010. The drum kit I'm using is uh, an Alto Beat, um, which I have made especially for this tour. It's Ash wood and I just love the finish on that it's you know you can see the, the natural wood in there and kind of blends blends into black which I which I really love. Um, usual sizes I've got 22 inch kick drum 10 12 14 16 toms and a um, 20 inch gong drum um, uh, one of the albums is kind of traditional Irish music so I'm trying to emulate a um, Boltram, which is the traditional, I think it's called Boltram, Irish drum. Um, and the gong drum kind of does that a little bit. To my left, I've got a 14 inch Meerbau snare with Ash Veneer, also out to beat, um, which uh, we've got tuned very low. It's nice, I love that. Um, there's an acoustic trigger on that, but I'll count that in a minute. As a main, I'm using a 14-inch uh, maple with a die-cast hoop, slightly tighter tune. Um, yeah, also, very important, I'm sitting on a Portland Davies BC2 uh, engine, without which I simply couldn't play anymore. It's, it's, it's such a game changer. The amp sits here. Um, yeah, it's just... It, makes you feel a part of the whole thing. I've got all Istanbul Mehmet symbols, which you know, which I have been using for many years now and I love them. Um, I've got a 14 inch hat trio hi-hat. Um, the hat trios, they're interesting because they come in, you, know, you get three symbols. You get a bottom symbol and two top symbols, a lighter one and the, the heavier one. This is the heavier one. Um, there's also some rivets down there, uh, they come with rivets basically, which I took out, I don't I'm not a big fan of rivets. Um, got a couple of splash symbols, it's an, this is an 8 inch Sultan and a 10 inch El Negro. Again, I've, I've taken the rivets out of that because the, yeah, I'm not a, not a big fan of rivets. <laughs> um, onto the crushes, this is a 16 inch X-ray. It's nice and fast um, you know, for these hits, which there's a lot of 80s music. Um, here we've got an 18-inch session crash. Currently, I've got another 16-inch um, X-ray, only because well, usually I've got like an 18-inch sitting here, um, but I smashed it. So just went for new one, so um, it's another 16-inch. They do sound very different, though. Um, this is a 22 inch traditional ride, which I love. A um, bit more open sounding and not as. Um, there's the, the, the session series, which I've got the crushes from. Basically, the session is a mixture between the traditional and the radiant. Um, but a little bit too pingy for me for the ride, so I've got a traditional here. Um, for a crush, I've got a 19 inch. Session over here and a 19 inch session China for the loud bits. Um, for dampening, we use these great little things uh, called Sky Gel. As you can see, that's quite a big patch. Obviously, it really helps to dampen down the um, gong drum to give it that short sort of boat drum sound we're looking for. We also use one on the snare. But um, all the tongs are open. Um, also, I should mention drum heads. Um, we've got little Remo heads. Uh, coated vintage emperors on the tongs. There's a power stroke. Clear power stroke free on the gong drum and the kick drums. Um, and these are coated control sound X heads on the snares with, with a reverse dot on it. Okay, onto the electronics. Um, I've got a Roland SPDSX, you know, obviously a standard machine, which I, you know, I've got most of these pads in use, but I also have 
these PD8 pads simply because I find them a bit easier to hit, just a bit bigger, especially when you're playing like a snare sound. You know, sometimes you can miss this pad if you're kind of moving. Um, I also like to have this here because when I play the snare drum, I can then kind of hit both. It's almost like having a trigger, but you know, I can have layer it with another sound when I need or like. Um, and obviously the acoustic RT30, I think it's called dual trigger on this snare drum as well to, to uh, trigger extra samples of the acoustic snare. Well, and of course, Vic Firth. Five Bs, I love them. Um, I used to play five A's, and then two years ago I was on a tour in Australia, and I broke a stick, and I went into my bag to grab another one. And as soon as I felt like that, that, that feels great, strange. And then after the song, I looked, and it was a five B, and I had, I had no idea how that ended up in my bag. But you know, as soon as I I got home from the tour, I called my red, uh, red friend Martin and um, to send me some five beans which I've been playing ever since. Great sticks. Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you also enjoyed reading the blog. And um, yeah, give me a shout if you have any questions and yeah, hopefully see you all again soon. Cheers.